Centering different elements can be a little bit tricky first when you start learning how to code. So I just want to cover the two most basic ways of doing it. The first one being text align center. Now text align center can be used in two ways. First way is kind of the obvious way. It can center text. So let's see how we can go and do that. We can just write here in our styles for our CSS rules, text align center. Then we refresh and it automatically centers this text. We can do the same thing for P tag if we wanted to. All right, and it centers the P tag. Let's see what happens when we try it on the image tag. And nothing happens. All right, that kind of makes sense because this isn't text. However, you actually can center images using text line center. The key is to do it on the parent element. So if we get rid of all of this, and we just text line center the div, which the div is wrapping the h2, the p tag, and the image, it will center all three of them. So when you're trying to center an image, what you can do is actually just wrap that individual image in a div. So let's say we didn't want to center, you know, the H2 and the P tag. So we're just going to wrap a div and give it a class of image. Save it. And now the image is the only thing that's actually centered. The H2 and the P tag are not. All right, so let's say, though, that you want to actually center elements with margin around it. What you need to do is actually to attach it to a div. So we're just going to use div for now. And you can give it a width of, let's just say, 80%. And I'll save it. All right, so now we have all this margin. We have 20% margin on the page, and we can just view that right here around the div. We can see it there in orange. Now, if I want to center this div, all I have to do is type in margin zero auto. Now, if you recall, when you type in margin, you put two values. The first value is top and bottom. So I'm saying put zero pixels of margin on the top and bottom, and automatically calculate the margin on the left and right and make sure that they're equal. So when I refresh, there it is. So it's perfectly calculated on the left and the right side. So I can put any value in here that I want to. So I could put like 100 pixels if I want. But it'll just push it down a little bit, right? That's just adding margin to the top. So typically you'll see margin zero auto more often than you'll see a value there. 